This week I've spent a couple of days in London working with the RSA. So firstly, on Tuesday night it was the AGM and I was honoured to stand where Josterblok stood when he delivered his famous presentation at the RSA on Bootsorg um, to share what we've been trying and learning from wellbeing teams as part of the AGM. So that was exciting. And then the next day was the launch of this document here, Radical Home Care, How Self-Management Could Save Social Care, a briefing paper from Ruth Hanna. And she got together a group of people, a round table, of people from health and social care who've been exploring self-management. So some of the pioneers you'll be familiar with, Annie Francis from Neighbourhood Midwives, Sophie Terrell was there representing Neighbourhood Cares and colleagues from Cornerstone. And we explored with um, ADAS and um, the National Care Forum and other organisations what self-management could mean in social care and what are some of the challenges in implementing it and what commissioning is like particularly in that context because there's a follow-up paper to this that Andy Brogan and the RSA are working on at the moment which is the evaluation of phase one of wellbeing teams where we tried to work within a traditional commissioning framework and what we tried what we learned from that and what the implications could be for the future so I'm also excited to see what the next paper is going to look like um, and Vic Rayner asked a really important question because we were talking about how this could be easier in startups like wellbeing teams. She said, but what about all the other carers and care organisations in the sector at the moment? And it was great to hear a colleague from Cornerstone explaining a bit about their journey and absolutely demonstrating that this is possible. And it looks like we might be invited um, next year to work with the RSA on a programme around self-management um, and different opportunities for organisations who are interested to learn what their first steps could be towards this way of working. So a really exciting week for me. Delighted to see this launched and the conversations at the roundtable were really interesting.